Hello, in this video I'll show you how we are using BB3 for testing in production uh, power modules like DCP405. Uh, for that we'll use another DCP405 and a new module called SMX46 which has uh, three functionality. First one it's switch matrix, another one it's analog outputs and third one it's power relay which can connect disconnect load which will be connected at the output of the power module. To do that we also need some wiring and we'll start with connecting power input of our test module to output of DCP so that we have input power under our control and we can put it on the third slot okay uh, next we want to to check what's going on at the output of our tested module and this too goes over that power relay connect and goes to our load here uh, then uh, we will need to check what's going on with remote sensing and uh, with uh, remote programming uh, which goes here and finally we need some analog output to make some testing with remote programming. Uh, now if we turn on BB3 uh, it will recognize just that tr two modules, first two because this one it's still new and it's not initialized and BB3 don't know uh, what is on that third slot so we, that will be the part of uh, testing procedure to initialize model to continue to work with it. And now we can uh, see what is going on on the PC side. On the PC side uh, we have a dashboard, a Node-RED dashboard, uh, which is generated with Node-RED flow. A complete test procedure is collection of few flows. And we can see that in the flow we are using uh, some predefined uh, nodes but also our own BB3 uh, nodes which is a part of Node-RED integration uh, which you can find on this link and here we can see that uh, we are communicating with BB3 with a string of skippy commands or with skippy query uh, let's go back to dashboard dashboard it's organized in three tabs like overview where we can see a uh, connection status and what is on each slot so what uh, firmware uh, <coughs> detect uh, for that we need to be connected of course uh, second one it's wiring which is used for this test and finally here is a, a list of our test which we will conduct. Uh, let's start with test. First we need to make connection. Okay, on slot 1 and 2, uh, two modules are recognized. Slot 3 is still unknown. And here we can start the test.
and everything works as expected and here we can see now that a new <coughs> um, a new module it's also recognized uh, we assign him a serial number and when we go back here uh, we can now also perform a single test okay uh, to see uh, what's what could possibly goes wrong we can try to remove this connector and try with this test it's a fail the same we can expect here yes uh, this time we can remove load and some of basic tests uh, for current will fail now but first we can test this one to see that everything is fine and this one okay but here we can expect now some problem yeah okay we cannot measure uh, any current because load is disconnected this test procedure includes all all important parts of DCP 405 and something what uh, it's missing it's calibration of voltage and, and current and for for that we'll need uh, some high precision uh, digital multimeter module or some external digital mul multimeter with uh, some USB or Ethernet for Skippy uh, communication. This is everything for this time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.